I just wanted to do a quick simple video on how to make like mailers or boxes this is a pyramid box this is a circle box and where you would get them from um, if you go to this page here templatemaker.nl and then go to their main page and you can see that they got bags, displays, gift boxes, hearts this is the one I've got a circle uh, a triangle this envelopes that's the other one I did and all you want to do is pick the one that you like uh, I'll just go with these simple boxes for now so it's easy to see here it gives you units like I work in inches on this so and all you want to tell it is your length the width and the height that you want the box like the thumb hole diameter how far you want it to tuck and stuff like that so you can customize them however you want and then save it in whatever type you want I was saving them as TXF and then just say create and it'll download and then wherever you downloaded it to just open it up and it will open in two layers like this which is going to be a cut layer and then your score layer and you can also like if you wanted one different to these um, you can just type in card board box template and you see there's a whole bunch on here I mean these you could just copy um, paste it into yeah let's just turn that on so you can see it and you should be able to trace this if you just left click on it so it's highlighted right click trace image slide this along yep and now it's hitting all the sides ok drag this across to delete that now you've got to watch because sometimes it gives you more than one line so what I'm going to do is ungroup them get rid of these extras got the rough shape you could make it up to the size you wanted it still works I mean you can put your own scores in just remember to change your color of your pen and then where you're gonna want your scores This is just if you want a shape, I guess, that what well, they ain't got, but most shapes can be done on that web page. Yeah, and these would be scores as well. With this pen, if you click one end and then click the other, if you hold shift while doing it, then it will draw a straight line. But click the other, and then you see it's still connected, then just right click and it'll disconnect it. Well, you get the idea. I'm just going to print out a couple, try them out on the laser. So, yeah, that would be that one. Or well, one last way that you could do it, I'll just quickly paste that again, is you can. I'll get a bright colour, I'll stay with this you can just trace around the outside like this don't worry about the inside lines for now uh, actually I've got to go this way 
right around the exact complete outside. I'm just going to go quick. And really, you want to line these up pretty well. then change your colour to a different colour and any lines that are on the inside just go over in that colour selection tool select the picture and just delete it and now you've got that box a little bit rough on the edge but like I say you want to just zoom in and make sure that it's going in there straight yep so I'm going to just cut a couple of them out see how that goes okay I'm on the computer outside now and there's the design um, I've got first cutting these inside slots or not cutting through just kind of scoring them 200 speed and a 15 power for the logo a 500 speed and a 10 power and then for the actual outside cut 25 speed with a 30 power um, I'm using a kind of like paper I'll show when it goes into the laser I'm going to send that now and then I'll show what I'm going to try and cut it out of yeah this is the stuff I'm going to cut it out of I guess Bainbridge board Number 80, it's quite thick stuff. Let's see how it goes. It's probably like a sixteenth of an inch thick. I'm just going to try it out of that and send that now. Okay, it's all set up in there. I'm just going to frame it and send that. <laughs> Okay, now I'm see from here. I don't know how good this stuff is for boxing, trolls knife. We'll finally got it together, but that wasn't a good material to make it from. These just want to rip. I mean that would be correct. I'll do it out of another material just to show that it does work out. It's just this material's a bit, a bit thick and hard really. Okay, so that's how it came out. I just resent um, this one as well because I thought for one when I do the spray painting, this will protect it better. Oh, the middle for that. Thing. I didn't think about that, but whatever. Or if not, maybe I could just stick this straight on the top. Might look cool, just doubled up. So, yeah, I'm going to work that out once I get to it. Hopefully, that's in focus. I can already see it. Um, this is like it's up there. Oh, and I opened this up a bit because I forgot. Now I've got cardboard, it was wider. so that you can see they bend nice on that. Oh, the first one did. I did try to spray paint it, but my logo is quite close together. So maybe if you've got the right logo, you might be able to just spray it on there. But yeah. the underneath just needs a bit of fixing I should have probably gone for a bit easier design but <laughs> I mean if you can do that type of box I'm sure the square ones will be easy so 
Alright, this is the triangle one. I've just got some magnets on there to hold the middle down because it weren't holding down very well. So that's what it is that you see in the middle there. And I've done this one 20, uh, 200 speed, 15 power for the score lines and 25 speed, 30 power for the cut. Yeah, so they came out, I mean, fine, this circle one was hard to stick together, <laughs> I ended up just taping it, but, I mean, they're on there, you just got to get the right material and stuff to do them, really, but, I mean, these are the simple shapes, you could still have it as a box opening from the bottom. When they show them on that website, they show them on paper. So it'll probably be easier on paper. I mean, if you want to make them into a box, it might be good to just cut these corners off a bit because it'll just fit in there easy. It does fit once it once you clear the corners. But yeah, I mean, there's a lot of different shapes and everything on there. I thought I'd share that and might be handy for somebody in the end if I'm trying to make something. So, yeah, thanks for watching. And please like and subscribe. And I'll add as much stuff as I can as and when I come up with it. Yeah, just wanted to show that. Thanks for watching. And I'll be making some more videos again soon.